Now on Action 2 News at 10, police have a suspect in custody for the deadly stabbing in Nina this past weekend, but they're still looking for people of interest, including some they say watch the incident happen. Plus, the president is announcing a new tax credit meant to encourage businesses to give time off for people who want to get the COVID-19 vaccine. And we're getting a look from inside a deadly pileup on a snowy Wisconsin road this morning. Details on what started this multiple vehicle crash and how the weather impacted those drivers. From WBAY TV, your first alert station. Action 2 News at 10 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Bill has the night off. One person has been arrested and the search for another person of interest continues following that fatal stabbing in Nina late Saturday night. It happened in the 200 block of Martin Street near the city's downtown district. In a first alert update, Jason Zimmerman reveals what questions police still have. Initially, police responded to the area of Martin Street after receiving a trespassing complaint, which led to the discovery of a body identified as 22-year-old Roger Ridgway. He died after being stabbed six times. Our hearts go out to Mr. Ridgway's family. Today should be his 23rd birthday. Over the past four days, our investigators have worked tirelessly and extremely hard to bring the suspect and the suspects to justice. 26 year old Mandel Roy is now in custody, but the search continues for another possible suspect, 28 year old Taryn Colwell. Both are from the Minneapolis area. Police also showed us pictures of people who stood around watching the murder. Some had on clothing, as you can see, associated with a motorcycle gang called Hell's Lovers. After they watched the murder of Mr. Ridgway, they, along with our suspects, Mandel Roy, and Taryn Caldwell walked back into Eagle Nation. Right now, police are looking to find this other suspect and identify members of the motorcycle gang caught on camera. Our Nina police officers and investigators did a great job of preserving the crime scene and methodically combing this scene for evidence. Police did not answer any questions during this news conference. More information, including a possible motive, is likely to come out once Roy makes his initial court appearance. Reporting in Nina, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. The Wisconsin State Task Force on Racial Disparities has announced their recommendations for law enforcement policies and standards. The Assembly Speaker's Task Force was created after several incidents, including the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis and the officer-involved shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha. Since then, the group has studied law enforcement policies and standards, and now they're releasing a 14-page report with more than a dozen findings. Areas for improvement include increasing transparency when it comes to the use of force incidents, increasing accountability for law enforcement, and improving training. Exciting opportunity for us in law enforcement to make us better, to help us be better, because we are there for the communities. We are there for people to feel safe and build quality of life out there. Lawmakers say they will now modify some previously introduced legislation to fit the recommendations while also introducing new bills as well.